Hello. In this video, I'll show you what I did to download and install PHP Storm. So I went to the PHP Storm download page that's referenced in Learn and Stout if you need that. Picked my operating system here, Mac, Windows, or Linux. I'm running on a Windows machine. I click download. And current version here is 10.0.3. I click save, save it to my downloads. And depending upon your internet connection, this download will take anywhere from a minute up to several minutes. So as we sit here, once again, PHP Storm is a commercial grade professional level IDE, Integrated Development Environment. As you'll see as we work with this, there are some pretty neat things on what PHP Storm does with your website, with your coding, helps you along. It also troubleshoots as you type the different parts of your code in here. We'll be using this for maybe about the first half of the class, get you down with the basics on some web development, responsive design, and using PHP, and also starting in with a little My MySQL databases. So the download is almost done here. At this point in time, I will start the installer. Yes, I really want to run this file. I uh, may have to ask you for permissions to install it. Here's the wizard. Click Next. I took the default on where to install it. I have it created a desktop shortcut because we'll be using this quite a bit. And the other files I want associated to it. I chose all of these different files because what we are doing is we're going to use PHP Storm for all of our web development early on in this course. So I want HTML here. I want some JavaScript, CSS, PHP, all to be associated with this program. So every time you click on one of those files, it'll open up in PHP Storm. And for the start menu, I took the default and we did the install because I'm a geek. I always click on show details. So I can see the stuff going through and installing. Now, PHP Storm is built on Java. Java is a neat language. I like it most of the time. If your code's not written efficiently in Java, the program does react very slowly. But well-written Java programs actually function extremely well. And PHP Storm, once again, being a professional level commercial grade piece of software, does run really well. So we're finishing up our installation here. At this point in time, it's completed. I'm going to run it right away. So I click Run PHP Storm and Finish. PHP Storm 10 does start up. Seeing as I have no other projects on this computer, I'm just going to leave it checked like that. Click OK. First time firing up, it's going to ask you. Once again, you should have your student license associated with your account you created on the PHP Storm JetBrains website. So we'll click that radio button here, enter in our username and password and click OK. Now if everything is right, it should start up like you're seeing right here. It says license to me active until January 5th, 2007. So this license is good for a year. And as long as you're a student and have a valid EDU address, you can keep on renewing this on and on. PHP Storm initial configuration. I just left all the defaults and I clicked OK at this point in time. Now, once again, up here it does say it's licensed to me for educational use only. 
and we can go ahead and create a new project or whatever we'd like to do I will just simply create a new click on create a new project and you can see we have all sorts of different projects we can create we'll just leave it as, as an empty project it'll turn on it'll start up and here we are inside of PHP Storm thank you